welcome back to my channel i know so many of you guys have been asking for this type of video and i'm sorry i haven't gotten to it but today i guess is the day where you guys can actually hopefully take some tips away and use it to benefit you and your bird and i will have a video coming up about how to get your birds to eat your veggies so please just wait a couple of weeks fingers crossed and that will be out shortly so I want to get started right away. Ideally, the first thing you want to do is get a good pellet brand, but sometimes your bird just doesn't like it. Now there are various pellet brands and some have fruit in them, a lot of sugar in other words. And it's not the best option, but you know what, if that's all you have in your area, you know what, so be it. I'm not one of those YouTubers who's going to be extremely upset because you you know, you chose a pellet brand that has a lot of fruit. Fair enough. Try switching to something more natural though. So try transitioning from that pellet to, you know, something that's more... Or something that has fewer artificial flavors in it. Please also be kind in the comment section because not everyone has a lot of money to afford a very expensive brand. And be mindful that there are people in this community that are different age groups there's going to be a difference between someone who is 30 years old and financially secure whereas someone who is 15 years old and you know they might be saving up a little bit so just be mindful of that um for instance although i am an adult i am able to financially meet all the needs of my birth but for instance I typically pay 20 bucks for a pellet and then I pay an additional 20 bucks to have that shipped to my house. That's 40 bucks for one pellet. So you might be like, what do you do instead? I actually bulk buy, so I will actually be buying like four or five pellets uh, at one go and then I would actually be storing that. And it's safe and it's completely okay until you open the package you would have to look at the packaging um, and make sure you use it in appropriate timings some pellets can last up to one year uh, believe it or not uh, the shell life some pellets once open they would only last for about four to six weeks so you really want to consider that so if you are going to buy pellets please consider your bird size if you have a very small bird you don't want to get a big bag of i don't know pellets so just keep just be mindful of that so let's get right into it my first suggestion is you finely grinding the pellets and over time you could kind of make it more coarse and eventually just use um, the pellets right out of the package which basically means please choose the right sizing if you did initially get the wrong sizing again you could blend it and make it smaller but after a while you'll kind of know what size fits best for your birds typically the smaller the better so if you have a blender you could blend it make it very fine and then add it to the seeds or you could also add it to the veggies i've seen some people um who add it to the seeds but then they kind of leave their pellets and seeds all together in one bowl long term don't do that it's also very hard to tell if your bird is eating their pellets or not so just if you know you could use it to wean them off but don't do it for the long term you wouldn't want to really put them together in one bowl you want to have two separate bowls that's the ideal thing to do another tip i have is actually you moistening the pellets um some birds don't really like that very hard texture initially so you can moisten them you typically would use organic juice but i've had people who actually squeezed out the juice of carrot or got organic carrot juice or you know it really depends but um yeah you can use organic juice just be mindful it is high in sugar and if you do moisten your pellets you're gonna have to throw those pellets away within two to three hours max because it could spoil so just be mindful of that so it really depends on the kind of pellets you guys are using so please read the instructions but you really want to remove the pellets 24 hours later especially if the pellet you are using is organic um it could spoil so once you scoop some into the bowl, keep it, um, I would say, max 24 hours. I typically keep it less than like, probably less than like 5 hours. Because at night I give them their seeds. I've done a video on that, I could do another one. But because of that, I switch back to a little bit of seeds. And yeah, um, so I do remove them. But I wouldn't really suggest over 24 hours. You really want to throw it out and then have a new fresh pellet for the next morning. 
Also be mindful of where you place the pellets. So some birds like it on top of their cage, um, around the top area. Now this is gonna depend if you have a new bird, they're actually a lot less likely to travel down. That's simply because it's instincts in the wild. They don't, they kind of work in groups. So when they go down, they all go down as a group. You won't see one bird in the wild just going down. As, we're parrots, I mean, there are different species, but we're parrots, they tend to, you know, do everything as a group. So if it's a single bird in a single cage, they are less likely to go down to the cage. So, I mean, it will happen over time once they start getting, you know, trusting you. But be mindful of that. You could either put your bowl, food bowl on the top, but I keep them at the bottom. My birds trust me. They trust their environment. So there's no issue keeping, you know, their bowls at the bottom, given that sometimes they may poop in it. So make sure you kind of adjust your cage well, where there's not a lot of uh, bird poop in your food bowl. So the other tip I have for you guys is try giving the pellets in the morning simply because imagine if your bird is a seed addict, you don't want to give seeds in the morning and then around evening time give them pellets. They're not likely to actually give it a shot to be honest. In fact, I would highly doubt they would go anywhere near it. So it's just best to give it give it to them in the morning. Um, a few other tips I have is try having your pellets with treats that they actually enjoy. So if your bird really likes strawberries, you could have some strawberries and put some pellets on top. Or like I said in the beginning, if you make a fine uh, pellet mash, if you know what I mean, you could kind of like, because a fruit or a cucumber is very watery in texture, you could kind of like smack it on top of the powder pellet and then you know you could have some pellets on it and they're more likely to give those a shot i've heard some people say that the owner kind of imitates that they're eating a pellet and if their bird is tame they might try it so you could also try that it might actually work now the one thing that i think is also important is that your bird might not actually like that brand i know it's something that many people don't talk about but the amount of times i have switched between different pellets it's a lot like over the years i kept going back and forth back and forth and that's not because i liked one and disliked another it's just that in different times my birds prefer different things for instance kiwi really does not like harrison's or tops i'm sorry i'm naming companies have nothing to do with it but she just always liked rowdy bush so i always have rowdy bush she has a specific t uh, place in her cage and she always eat rowdy bush. I'll still put Harrison's and Tops and trust me, she doesn't like it. I tried it numerous times. They are better options actually, but she just prefers rowdy bush. It's not one of the greatest pellets, but it's not one of the worst pellets. It's actually a very decent brand. Um, and then my other birds, they really don't mind. Personally, I get them Harrison's. I don't often reach um, for Tops. Um, I think I might give them another shot. The reason is before when I did give them a shot, they had um, more suitable pellet sizes for medium to large birds. But now they have um, pellet sizes that are suitable for smaller birds. And tops are cold pressed, so they are a great brand. So I might give them another shot. Who knows, they might like it. You know, it really doesn't matter. They're both great brands. I mean, tops is great. Harrison's is great. Rowdy Bush is great. There are other pellet brands that I think are okay like KT and I know there's the Prime if I'm not mistaken they're not the best but they're not horrendously horrible I want to end this video saying that please don't give up I know it's very difficult to get birds especially budgies a smaller species um, parrot species used to eating pellets but please don't give up it might take months I know some people it took over a year I was very lucky my birds like immediately kind of gave it a shot now basil she's over here she's a bit more tricky but overall i think um i had an easy transition for them um it wasn't difficult at all and be mindful that i had them as young babies or young birds so it was easier to transition them please be kind and nice in the comment section i know that many people have different ideas there are very good brands out there and there are okay brands and there are brands i would really not suggest and i don't want to give any names right now but i have named a few there are okay brands if it is something that you could only afford you know what so be it most of their diet should be coming from vegetables anyway pellets actually play a, not a significant role it, it does play a role but it's not that significant i'd be more concerned if they're not eating their veggies rather than them not eating their pellets but 
we are in a community and it is something that is talked about those are some tips i hope that you could find useful um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and wish us luck so yeah just be mindful of that each bird is different um each bird prefers different flavors um if it's something very high in sugar i would you know highly suggest the dust <laughs> i would highly suggest you transition them to something more organic or fewer and artificial flavors but you know it takes time and just don't lose hope and i believe in you you could do it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video guys thank you for watching bye bye